Good morning, greetings, and salutations, YouTube. It's Aiden here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. I just finished patch packaging, packaging up a couple of things, and we're gonna head over to the post office right now. It's still pretty early, um, though I did start the vlog a little bit late. It's noon right now, so uh, we all just had lunch. I'm gonna bring these packages over to the post office, and then we're gonna head over to the Goodwill, then come home, and I really just wanna finish organizing and everything, so I tried to get everything done as quickly as possible today, which I think worked out because it's still pretty early in the day, so let's head out. All right, you guys, just got inside the car. Also, today's bag of the day is this lovely beauty. I cannot stop using it. I'm pretty obsessed. The H makes me very happy. I don't know why I love things with my initial on it, but that is like my current aesthetic is letter H. Um, but anyway, let's um, head over to the post office and to the Goodwill so we can get back home and finish cleaning. Alright, since I don't have too many packages, I'm gonna go into uh, the front and just drop them off inside there and hopefully don't fill up the mailbox thing. <laughs> Alright, we just got to the Goodwill. Cross your fingers for me, guys. Hopefully we could find something good. I don't think I found anything here. No, I didn't find anything here yesterday, so maybe today will be a different day. Let's check it out. Oh, there's also a piano right here. It's like an old accordion-style piano. Ooh, there's like two Michael Kors bags in here. I do want to take a look at. Okay, look through all the racks of clothing that they brought out. And nothing really too exciting. So I'm just going over through all the bags that they have out. And then later on, I'm going to go check out what they have in the case. Those two Michael Kors bags. This one's a Folly and Corinna bag. These are actually really nice bags. And this one, ooh, $7.99. Does have a little bit of dirt right here on the side, but I think we can clean that off. The rest of the bag is in pretty good shape. These all look a little familiar. I think these have all been here for the past week. But sometimes one gets snuck in that I haven't seen yet, so always good to check. Liz Claiborne. What's this guy? Oh, funny. Los Angeles Clippers bag. They still have this, um, what is this called again? Kohan, yeah, this Kohan's been here for a little bit, for at least a week. Alright, I just found this hobo wall. There's a little pen stain. Mm -hmm. It's only $3.99. That's $4. I really like the lining of it. Do you think I can get that out? Is there another pen stain? Uh, I don't think that's a pen stain. I think we can get that out. But this, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe we'll take this as well. The road less traveled. Traveled. We got like a weird accent. Photo book. Mark Jacobs fragrances little pouch. This is actually cute. These are for like pencils and stuff, but that one's four dollars. We have some little kid Converse shoes for eight dollars. See what size these are. Size six. Too small for anyone I know. Himalayan sea salt. Rosetti, some games. Looks like some Uggs, but they're pretty worn. We got some boots with snakeskin trim. This heel is kind of busted, unfortunately. Let's check out what they are. 
Can't really read it too well. Tommy Lama? Tony Lama? Got some American Eagle shoes. Nick Reeker. Trash. And. I can't read that. A gaggle of sassy fairies. What? I can't hear you. Oh. I'm going through the vases. They haven't really brought anything out recently here. I feel like everything is pretty much the same. I'm cracking up with these cactus margarita glasses. They're like pretty cute. This blue ceramic watering can is gorgeous. There's no label on the bottom, but it's $2.99. It'd be really pretty with some plants inside. Gorgeous. Great gathering. Pyrex blue. Oh, I have a set of three purple Pyrex that I still need to list. I literally just washed them. So now they're good to go, but I forgot to take photos. But check out all this stuff. These little glasses are cute, or cups. Looking for like Starbucks mugs, um, Pottery Barn, William Sonoma, Anthropology, Le Creuset, but I'm not spotting anything today. This one's a Target one. Looking through like the toys and the random knickknack. Look at that Mickey Mouse thing. Through the random knickknacks that they have over here. Feeling right at home employee of the month. How cute is that? Look at that little kitty cat. I want to get fake awards so I can give them to the kids for whenever they're good. <laughs> Oh, look at it. It's a little cat. Oh, she is scary. Okay, let's avert our eyes. They still have, they have this large tray, but they still have this Anki drive thing, which I still think is super cool. Oh, they have this, um, this is Star Wars guy? I think it is. Yeah, this is a Star Wars guy. I wonder if the kids have this guy. So I'm looking at shoes. I never know like what shoes are cool really. Especially with like sneakers and like I honestly have no clue. Like, Nikes. <laughs> I don't know what's worth money, what's expensive. This is like a cool color combination, but no clue, honestly. I just found some Adidas Boston boots, or Boston boosts at Azeros. Again, no clue about shoes. Size nine and a half. Look how cute these little Mickey Mouse Adidas are. <laughs> what if they fit Eliza? How did I just notice this bag? It looks just like a Fendi peekaboo with our ruffles. <laughs> it's pleather though, but still kind of cool. Very interesting. Just fab. <laughs> so 
still can't believe Vera Bradley makes these. I didn't know that they made any leather pieces, but I just looked it up. They do. That's pretty cool, although this one is a little beat up and they don't go for like too much online. And, the, and there's a little bit of darkening of the leather, but it's not in the worst condition. Huh, should I get it? I just found this little coin purse. Don't know if it's authentic, it's probably not, but it's definitely like old. And it's kind of cute, but I kind of just want to repaint it. Alright you guys, I got a little bag of goodies, so I'm excited about that. Now let's go home. Alright, so as you can see, I, I moved this back. I had this in my room as a coffee table, because my coffee table went upstairs. But... I'm putting it back here. I wish I could still have the hat rack here because I really like the hat rack. But, I don't know, if it's fine for right there, I just can't open the door all the way, which I think is fine. But I don't know how many times, like I don't want the door to keep hitting the hat rack. And so, I don't know, I might have to just move that again. But I do like this table, or this like console here. Um, I don't know, because this is what I had there before. I just moved it. I'm going to put that away somewhere else, but, hmm. Anyway, I'm going to barbecue right now, so let's do that. I am outside now. Luckily, it's a little overcast right now, even though it's still really warm, but it's been like, like the sun has been in and out. It's kind of like shining through right now, but I still have my plastic on the furniture. I know, it's like shameful, but... I haven't <laughs> really had time to um, do anything with it, but I, I'm, I'm totally fine with just leaving, leaving it on for the moment. Um, what I do want to do is I want to move the, that umbrella stand with the table up there. That one will probably get moved down. And then um, I want to figure out a way to strap the pillows onto the thing like mom said like velcro or like tie them on somehow because I don't want those pillows to fly away or just store them away um, until we're going to use them but you can see how windy it is and you can just imagine all those pillows flying like if we didn't have those plastic coverings they would just be flying all over the place so um, yeah it's really windy right now but I have the grill going it's getting hot already I got some carne asada. Excuse how dusty it is. It just gets so dusty here um, because of the wind and all the construction around us. But it it's gorgeous. I'm really happy with how the backyard has turned out. Like I actually didn't expect it to kind of honestly look like this. This is just like honestly, it's a dream come true to be able to get our backyard like this and the fig trees. The fig tree is doing really well. Um, this tree, I, like the, this plant, or these two plants, I thought were gonna die because we got like these little thingies on there, but we got the, that, those things situated. Um, this guy got a little singed from when it was really hot, but doing really well. I think I'm just gonna cut all these little things off of it. And then these guys are doing beautifully. The flowers are growing, which I'm really happy about. Um, these, like, I don't know I, what happened with this guy. I think these, I don't know what happened. Are these, did they, like, dry out or something? I'm not too sure, but I don't know. Maybe, is it getting too much sun, maybe? Should I move it back? I'm not too sure. Uh, let me know if anyone knows. I always get confused with sun because it's, like, what can be in the direct sunlight, what can't. And that's pretty much... The update for now, let's actually start grilling because I think this is hot. Okay, so I am in my room now. We had dinner. It was delicious. I didn't really vlog. I don't, I don't just like eat and run <laughs> because I just wanted to finish cleaning the room. Um, still not done, but I think I kind of figured out what I, I figured out what I want to do. And um, yeah, so I'm like literally like my room is just like in shambles still. The house is kind of a mess because all my stuff is everywhere, but I am working on it. Hopefully, tomorrow I can get everything in my life situated and then we'll be able to start off the weekend and next week on a clean slate. So I'm very excited. Um, but let me show you guys what I ended up getting from the Goodwill today because I got a pretty, a pretty, a few uh, pretty fun 
like a, I don't even know what I'm saying. I got a pretty good selection of stuff. Okay, yes. <laughs> I, I just finished also filming all of my um, haul videos, so I'm just like sitting here. I'm kind of getting blinded already by the ring light and like the sun is dwindling, so like literally I'm just like relying on this light and then like my up light and I feel like the lighting is just like... Alright, I really I like need to invest in more lighting, but I just like don't want to buy it because I don't know where to put it. So until I fix up this room, I'm not going to do anything like that. Um, but, so I did end up getting this shirt, a uh, Brandy Melville shirt. Now, it's really cute, it's just like a little cutoff shirt. And it's weird because it's like a one size fits all type of deal, which I'm like, how is everyone going to fit in this? Anyway, um, but it's really cute. It says, New York City Girl. I got this um, primarily for my sister. I hope she likes it. <laughs> and she was actually born over in New York. So, like, she, New York is, like, near and dear to her heart, even though we moved away from there, like, when... Like, she, I don't even think she remembers anything from living in New York, though she has been there, um, again when she was older, so, yeah. She was kind of, like, a relive her past. <laughs> um, I also ended up getting these Adidas track pants. Like, I thought they were pretty cool, just, like, black and the white stripes. The little Adidas thing right there. Um, these were a size medium. And, yeah. John was like, get them for me. I just want to try them on and see if they fit. And I was like, okay, John, we'll see if you fit in these. So I'm going to go give these to him in a little bit and see if they fit him. Um, then up next, I did end up getting this little hobo wallet. I love hobo wallets so much, even though this does have like a pen mark. Where is it? Like right there. Uh, I'm going to try and get it out. I, I don't know if I can. Pen marks are very, very tricky to remove from leather, especially when you don't know how long they've been sitting there. They might have been sitting there for a while. Normally, um, oh, this has a piece of tape on it. That's what that was. I couldn't even tell what it was in the store, but now with, like, the intense light. Ooh, it came off without damaging the leather. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna stick this right there. Um, now this guy was $3.90. $3.99. Goodness gracious. The camera has like a hard time focusing sometimes with like the weird lighting. Um, but yeah, now like the lighting got weird again. Anyway, really great wallet. Hobo wallets are so awesome. And I, you know what? It's, I have like a, I have like, um, kind of like, not a lot, but I have like at least five, maybe six, seven hobo wallets I still have to list in the shop, which I haven't listed yet. So I'm, I need a list. I have like, I feel like I have like a good amount of wallets that I haven't listed yet. And I don't know why it takes me so long to list wallets, but, um, I don't know. Then I got this really cute Corinne and Foley, um, satchel bag. It's really cute. It's fabric. It does have a little bit of staining on like right here and then along the sides, but I don't know. I think I can clean it and... It just opens like this. It's like a nice big space inside. The interior is actually really clean. It has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. And then it goes like that. Like when you're carrying it with a long strap. So I, I like the way, I don't know, I just like the way the bag drapes. And then this guy was $7.99. So... Crin and Foley. I remember I got a Crin and Foley tote once, like a leather one, and you guys really liked that one. So like I was like, I need to find more of these bags because you guys enjoy them. Um, but that one's a fabric and leather tote. So um, then, last but not least, now I don't know if this one's authentic. It's probably, probably not, but it's definitely like old and like vintage. As like, Christian Dior, and it says Christian Dior Paris on there. The leather is like so dry. So. I'm going to make this like a little project. I just want to like clean it up, um, condition it, and then maybe like re-dye it or something and try not to like mess up the little thing that says Christian Dior. And then it just opens up to the interior. It doesn't even have, it doesn't have like any markings or anything inside. Yeah, no markings or anything inside, so I don't know. Might just be like a little fake, but I don't know if like it's just like a vintage thing and I just didn't say anything inside, but I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, this one was $3.99. I just thought it was really cute anyway. 
Um, you can even add a, like a little wristlet thing or something to here if you wanted. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that I can fix this up really well. I'm not too sure. It might be... It might be like a little bit of a task, but I mean, I think I'm up to the task. So there it is, a little Christian Dior action. Um, but that is, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, let me do my thrift find of the day. Um, okay. Oh, you know what? Actually, where is it? Um, someone actually emailed me and said, so, oh, Gilbert Cachola. Um, okay, so he said, Hi, Hadrian. I was recently thrifting in a St. Vincent de Paul thrift store, BTW. <laughs> I know I hate abbreviations. By the way, I really need to go to one of those. I know there's, I think there's one in driving distance away from it. We don't know exactly where it is. I just know, I think there's one around here. And, um, and said that he bought all of their dust bags. There were a total of 13 bags, which consisted of eight Chloe, one Chanel, one Miu Miu, one Dolce & Gabbana, one Lanvin, and one Manolo Blahnik, which is crazy. He paid a total of $8. The large bags were a dollar each. The smaller ones were 50 cents each. And, he already has the Chanel listed for 50 bucks. That is uh, amazing. Oh my gosh. Let me, I'll even show you guys the photo. Because Gilbert was nice enough to show that. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Gilbert, I, I think I, I, I already replied to you, didn't I? I don't know. If I, I'm going to reply to you again just in case I didn't. But I think I did. Oh, uh, no, I didn't. <gasps> okay. Well, hopefully you're also watching this. But I'm going to reply to you anywhere after this video. But... Congratulations! Um, I always pick up dust bags whenever I see them, but I've never found those dust bags. Like, though, that's amazing. Like a Chanel dust bag. Like, that's really cool. <laughs> and Chanel dust bags go for a lot. Like, dust bags go for a lot on eBay, um, even on Poshmark um, and Mercari. So that is awesome. And you found some really great designer ones. I only ever find Kate Spade, Michael Kors, I think I found a couple Tory Burch ones, and Dooney and Burke, and I think that's about it. I haven't found any any other really cool ones, I think. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so congratulations, Gilbert, that is amazing. Um, and I think that's pretty much the end of the video. I have a lot of work to get done. I'm gonna go walk the dogs right now before it gets too dark, but it's still nice and warm outside um and yeah so thank you guys again so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please give the video a big thumbs up that always helps immensely don't forget to subscribe um don't forget to also check out this morning's thrifting video um and don't forget to tune in tomorrow bright and early for a new thrifting video bright at 7 a.m and then a new vlog up at 2. i love you guys so much i'll see you guys later bye this thing is so cool c99 is from home goods I looked at the price, it's originally $9.99. Oh, these are like for the shower. This is from like, um, William Sonoma. Oh, what are these? I have no clue what these are for. <laughs> <laughs>